Have you been considering making the move from California to Denver, Colorado? Well, you are not the only one. And in today's video, I am going over why all the people from California have decided to make Denver, Colorado their home. If that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and keep on watching. Welcome back to Colorado Living. I'm Nicole Baker. Today we're going over exactly that. But before we get started, you know the drill. I have to let you know I'm a licensed realtor here in this beautiful state. So if you've been thinking about relocating and you need some more information, my number and email are popping up now. Feel free to text, call, email, day, night, whatever's easiest for you guys. But if you're not quite ready to reach out, go ahead and subscribe. I make content just like this, all about relocation to the Denver, Colorado area. And I post videos every Monday, Wednesday at five. So go ahead and subscribe, but let's get started in today's video. Let's get started. First things first, and I don't think I even have to mention this, the absolute difference between California and Colorado is the scenery here. We are not near the ocean at all. We are completely landlocked here in Colorado. So if you enjoy the ocean and you are from California and you actually do like go to the ocean, I hear from a lot of people that live in California or have lived in California that they pretty much never went to the beach. So they're paying insane cost of living for not even being able to take advantage of what they have. So they're looking for a different type of scenery that they're actually going to use. Here in Colorado, again, we are landlocked, so no oceans around, but we have tons and tons of reservoirs, lakes, rivers, that kind of thing. So you do get to enjoy quite a bit of water still. A lot of people treat these reservoirs kind of like an ocean in a way. I can say from my own personal experience, they're not as fun, but it's just like a lake. That's basically what a reservoir is. It's just man-made, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But definitely a different type of scenery here in Colorado. We are definitely enjoying the mountains. Typically, if you live here, you're probably going to be moving here to enjoy the mountains and we are not taking them for granted. Even just me, I'm not up in the mountains every single weekend. I just don't have time for that kind of thing, but I do enjoy driving around in my car and seeing the mountains. I just unfortunately can't make it up there every single weekend, but when I do, it is absolutely so much fun and I have tons of other people that do go up there. A lot of my past clients like specifically moved here because they want to enjoy those mountains. They want to go skiing, they want to go hiking, they want to go climbing, they want to go boating in these reservoirs and things like that unlike a lot of the times when we come from a state any state that's our home state we kind of take it for granted a lot of the times and I think people moving to Colorado from any state are really going to take advantage hopefully of the beauty that this scenery here in Colorado has to offer <music> thing and I think it is a major major reason why people are just leaving California in general is the state income tax in California it is the top state income tax in the United States so it is very very expensive outside of just the cost of living but even just to make money in California, it's pretty expensive. So lots of people are leaving for that reason and heading to states like Texas, like Arizona, like Colorado with lower state income tax. Colorado is definitely not the cheapest. If you are very interested in the tax world and how that works and you're specifically moving to get tax breaks of any sorts, I am not a CPA, I must say that. Please, please, please do not take my advice on anything tax related you will be making a huge mistake. So reach out to a tax person in your local area or in Colorado to get more information like that. I'm just going off of national averages. So again, California is number one and Colorado I believe is like 37th and that was based off the 2021 year. So keep that in mind too. They typically do this, you know, every year. So 
If you are trying to avoid lots and lots of taxes, Colorado might be a better option for you than California. Heading into the next thing, cost of living. Tons and tons of people, again, are leaving California to go to a cheaper place to live. And granted, Colorado is nowhere near cheap. I mentioned in all my videos, it is not a cheap place to live by any means. But if you're coming from California, you are definitely going to be seeing a difference in the cost of living. It is quite cheaper compared to California. You are looking about a 31% above the national average. Let me, oh yeah, 31%. I know myself. Anyways, 31% <laughs> above the national average here in Colorado, and I don't even wanna know. Oh, okay, we're looking at 71% for, for California. 71% above the national average for cost of living. Wow. I know people in Colorado already feel the heat with cost of living here, but if you move from California to Colorado, not only are you gonna get a massive tax break compared to California, you are also going to be just living cheaper. So things that are considered like cost of living is obviously gonna be things like your groceries and whatnot. One thing I can definitely mention, we all know California gas is not cheap at all. I don't even know how expensive it, it is nowadays. Whenever I lived in Arizona, I would drive there quite often just to go hang out and do whatever and vacation. And that was always the worst part was filling up the gas tank. It was like five something. And here in Colorado today, actually there is, it is $2.55, $2.55. It's like pre, you know, pre situation pre-economic situation, I would say. So it's amazing, the cost of living. If you're thinking about moving from California to Colorado, you will probably be absolutely obsessed with the cheaper cost of living. next thing I think these two are pretty similar when it comes to active lifestyles tons and tons of people in California love to be active they love to get out it's just probably ten times harder because of the traffic I would assume it is not fun to just sit in maybe two hours of traffic to get to the beach when you live maybe 20 minutes away unlike here in Colorado where you get to enjoy less traffic for sure definitely less traffic uh, depending on where you're coming from in California but you could be 30 minutes from the mountains. Yes, it's not the beach, but there's tons and tons of things that Colorado has to offer. So if you're looking for an active lifestyle that California might bring you, you will definitely find that here in Colorado too. And then also for my active people, typically you like to be a little bit healthier maybe. Uh, there's tons of healthy options here in Colorado and we are actually ranked, I think top three in health care in the United States. So I'm not sure where California stands on that, but we are definitely a healthier state and with one of the lowest mortality rates in the United States as well. So if that's something that really draws you into California and you're still looking for another place to live, Colorado might be that perfect, you know, trade-off for you. Next one is gonna be transportation. Transportation involves things, again, like gas, like car insurance, all of those things. I was actually quite surprised at how expensive the car insurance here in Colorado was compared to where I was living before. I probably had about maybe like a $70 increase in car insurance when I moved here. And I even added, you know, I tried to bundle it and all of these things, added a couple things and it was still more expensive. So I was, again, really shocked. And I think a lot of people are when they move here depending on what state you're coming from but if you're coming from California you will probably have a very pleasant surprise because California has a very very expensive transportation whether it be you know bus and all of those things or car insurance gas on a national average again 100 being the national average Colorado is 116.1 and hold on wait for it 
California is 165.3. So if you're moving to or trying to move or thinking about moving from California to Colorado, you will definitely enjoy a discounted car transportation situation, which I wish I was able to get, but it'll definitely add to that less lesser cost of living compared to California. Last but not least, you know I have to mention it, housing. Housing is definitely going to be a huge, huge difference and you guys moving from California to Colorado are going to definitely be happy about this difference. You are looking about a 61% difference in housing prices here in Colorado compared to California with the average price point in California. Obviously California is massive. We're really gonna have to narrow it down because I think that it would be way too complicated to compare a like bajillion person state compared to Colorado, but we'll use LA for an example. You are looking about a minimum 900,000 price point, probably even maybe a little bit more expensive depending on where in LA. Obviously you guys know how that works. In Colorado, you're looking around 550 for the median price point. So I think that is really, really a major reason why tons and tons of people are just leaving California in general is the housing is so expensive and I know I have a lot of people comment on my videos occasionally about being a native and they don't like the ideal of other people. This is very rare, but I have to mention it because it makes me go crazy sometimes because unfortunately, yes, people are moving to Colorado and when people move to a beautiful state and lots and lots of people move, it definitely brings up the pricing, which sucks for a lot of people, but people from California where Things like that happened to them years ago, and now we are in a situation where they can't afford housing, so they have to move states. It's just how the world works, and I think people from California are really looking for that cheaper cost of living and cheaper housing, so if you are thinking about moving from California to Colorado, comment down below and tell me if that's something that has really interested you about leaving California in general. I would love to know, but I think if you are looking for cheaper housing, Colorado would definitely be a great option. that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button if you want more content just like this I post every Monday Wednesday at 5 p.m. so go ahead and subscribe and before I let you guys go you know the drill I'm a licensed realtor here in this beautiful state so if you've been interested in moving my number and email are popping up feel free to text call email day night whatever's easiest for you guys but until next time I will see you later bye